Hi church, welcome to today's digital devotion. One of the most influential astronomers of the 20th century was a gentleman by the name of Alan Sandage. He worked and taught here in California and he's known for coming up with one of the most accurate estimates of the age of the universe. And there's a story that one day he was in a restaurant and he was talking to someone about astronomy and the expansion of the universe and using all of these astronomical terms. And someone came up to him and said, excuse me, sir, are you a minister? And I just love that this astronomer was mistaken for a minister because there is so much of our faith that is very cosmic and astronomical, the big questions of the universe, mystical questions, ones that we don't talk a lot about in church when we can be more logical and rational. I think one great benefit of having co-pastors is that you have two ministers who are actually very different from each other. And if the more mystical, cosmic elements of our faith are something that appeal to you? Well, then Jen is your gal. She loves to explore the mystical elements of Christianity and to look into elements that some people might characterize as more woo-woo, something that we might think of as new age, but actually is not new age at all because it's very much rooted in some of the mystics of our ancient Christianity. And so I really want to invite us today to think about those mystical elements. The fact that there is so much about our faith that is a mystery. We're talking about the fact that we believe there is a God, some supreme being that created the universe, that set our world in motion, and that we believe that somehow this God can become human and that this human could live a life that is a model to all of us, and that somehow this savior of the universe could die, and that this death is something that redeems all of us? This is weird, mystical questions. But it is so good to live within that mystery, to not have all the answers, to know that our scripture can uniquely speak to our experiences in a different way each time we open up our holy word. And so let's embrace this mystery, knowing that each day there are new questions to explore, and we will explore those questions together. Join me on Sunday as we continue to jump into the mystery.